Hello everyone and welcome to a little update on Anomalia Survival. As you know, Anomalia is going to converge itself to mobile and they are calling this the crossplay version. I call this the Anomalia rework because there are a few things that are changing and that are going to be added. And also I want to give you guys a little bit of insight on a map that I've been working alongside with the devs for a few months now. But before we jump into the video and discuss some of the changes and showcase you a little bit of the map, I want to give a huge shout out to Slick for supporting our channel and becoming our first ever channel supporter. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into the video. For the newer people, you probably haven't heard of this map called Z Savannah. For those of you who have followed my channel, probably already know about this map because we have already played on it. I also made a video on talking about two maps that people are not really playing or not really paying attention, which I do recommend you guys to go there and check out. The current version that you guys are looking at the screen right now is the one available on single player mode right now in Anomalio. As we talk about single player on the crossplay, from what I've seen, the single player mode will be removed permanently. So there will only be multiplayer. Not only that the dev said that in this version of crossplay, the game will be lighter and easier to run compared to the actual version right now. There is two new visual things that change, one being the blood and gore and the other one being the scar. Now I do want to show you guys how the scar looks compared to the old one and I want to give you a warning for people who have tripophobia that you might get triggered by this. The reason why I'm showing this is because I do want to know your feedback and also the devs want to know your feedback if this is something that you guys think should stay in the game or if they should change because of the people with that type of phobia but i'll show that later on i will later leave down in the description a list of a few things that i've noticed that changed and of course that are going to be added and then i'm gonna do a little update because the devs themselves are gonna send me a list of things that are going to be implemented in this version of crossplay Something that they've added that I am really, really happy is that now if you jump, you will consume stamina. So you won't be seeing those bunny lions jumping around the map or even leopards. So every time you jump, you have to be very careful because it will drain your stamina. As for a pounce mechanic, I was also talking about that with the devs, they still are looking a way to introduce that to not be overly OP and just a one-sided thing. You will now be able to stop your bleed or the stacks of multiple bleeds by finding a puddle of mud where you will be able to just bathe yourself and it will give you a little pretty cool muddy skin. They've also told me about a ability that is currently being looked and worked on for the leopard. A thing that will make you able to jump from trees onto unsuspected prey. But this is still not confirmed. Something good that I also found out was that the delay attack for the lioness got fixed so now we are probably gonna see more lionesses around the map because now you don't have to deal with the delay attack that is currently in Anomalio. The movement itself will also be changed so there will be some of you who will have to get used to the new movement but they are still working on it. For now, that is some of the things that I've seen and noticed in the public test server. I don't want to give you guys a lot of the information because a few of these are still not really set on stone. So I don't really want to hype you guys for something that might not even come. But keep in mind that this will change a few things in the game. So keep an eye out on the description because there will be a few things that are going to be added and maybe change that might get your hopes up on Anomalia. 
I also talked about reworking some of their previous maps, making it a little bit refresh so that if people don't like this map that we are working on because it will be a more smaller map, people can always go back to the old ones but with a little bit of a surprise. For the people who are pretty hyped for the mobile version, I just have to say that it will take a little bit more because they have encountered a few issues and problems. So we are going to get this version first on PC and then on mobile. So that will conclude our little upcoming updates. There's not really a lot of information that I want to give to you guys because like I said, I don't want to hype you guys for something that might not even come and I don't want to put pressure on the devs. From this point forward, I will discuss a little bit about the map that we are developing. And if you guys want to click off, that is okay. But if you guys want to stay and hear a little bit about the map and the story, and of course, showcase to you guys how the map currently is looking, it would make me pretty happy. So this map was supposed to be developed in the late 2023, but as you know, for four months or even more, the devs just went away and the map overall just went into a halt. When I had my Animalia server open, this was the current map that people were able to play. And of course I did some live streams and some of you probably, like I said, recognize this map and the map that you guys currently are watching is the available map that you guys can actually play on single player mode and explore a little bit now i'm just gonna give you guys a little bit of a warning for those of you who want to try out this is a very very early prototype of the map Jumping into what I call the phase two, this is when the development for the map started. You guys can see that the graphics, the color, the water, a few things got changed. I wanted to create a smaller map because as you know, the maps currently in Anomaly just feel too big and people just love to stay in one place. So I decided to make this map smaller for around maybe max to 70 maybe 80 players this is of course inspired on the savannah map hence the z savannah there will be a few probably easter eggs or a few mix of vegetations you will have the more of a live zone and more of a dead zone that you will see by the color of the plants and grass to avoid people gathering around in just one place, this map will not have a lot of lakes to drink. And also the high vegetation and a few holes that babies can actually go in and use will help them escape from predators. If I would give maybe a percentage, the map is still at 40% is still far from done because there is still another half that we need to complete and add and this is where i'm gonna ask you the subscriber the viewer for some suggestions on what to put on the other side of the map the comments with the most like will probably see that idea implemented in this map so make sure to hit that like and subscribe so now ladies and gentlemen let's go to our phase three of our map. I'll be honest, there is still a little bug, as you guys can see, there is a little bit of floating vegetation, but that will get fixed eventually. But this is just to show you guys a little bit of improvement on quality and of course how beautiful an animal can actually be if they use the resources i actually told them that if you're going to do a map it needs to be my way and it needs to be a map with quality and i knew for a fact that they had a lot of beautiful stuff 
hanging out there that they didn't really want to use because they had fear of it impacting the performance of the game. Compared to the other maps, this one will include different types and of course new sounds for the lake, the daytime and nighttime because after all, I'm just tired of the old Anomalia and I want something fresh. I want something that actually feels like a savanna and sound is really important. I will be honest, I will give a credit what credit is due because the dev made a pretty beautiful map. I just gave him a little bit of information and opinions and he built this map. And there are still things that need to be touched up, repaired, added and go to phase 4. And like I said, you the subscriber and the viewer can actually help and add a piece of your idea to this map you just have to leave down a comment below and fingers crossed that it makes into this map now i did not forgot about showing the scars like i said this is a warning for people who have triple phobia so if you do have that please make sure to click off the video but if you don't have we do want your suggestion on how the scar looks for the scars, I did a few tests where I took a little bit of damage and see how worse it can get. I did already told the dev that the scars look a little bit transparent, doesn't really feel like it is a scar. So they are going to do a little bit of touch up, but I do want to know your opinion. So that will conclude our little update video on Anomalia Crossplay. I will try and make a better and more detailed video, but if you guys have any questions whatsoever, make sure to leave them down in the comments below. And if you want to join my Discord, link will also be down in the description. Once again, thank you very much for Slick for being a supporter of the channel and hopefully more of you will also join in the future. So Kato here, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you guys in a next video. Peace.